Hello everyone and welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Marcel, believe it or not, wants to uh, borrow this man's carabao and his little uh, sled here and give a demonstration on, uh, I guess what they're doing here now is leveling out this rice field. And so there goes the Wonder Woman right there. <laughs> I tell you what, guys, I've seen it all now. I, I swear to God, I've got the best woman in the world here. This might be a little bit long of a video because, by God, I'm going to let her go to the end and then come back so we can get a good shot of her coming back. I hope there's not too much wind noise right now because we are down. This is our neighbor's uh, property here and his field. And I uh, just happened to see this old man down here uh, uh, running his harrow, I guess you would call it, uh, flattening this out. That little area right there, that's the rice seedlings. They start them in a little patch like that and it's all screened in to keep the birds out. Um, and once they get this field completed, then they will come out and strand by strand, they will hand plant uh, this whole field here. Um, I'm going to have Marcel ask this guy uh, the size of this field and how many sacks of rice uh, they think they can get out of it. Look at her go. I'm zooming in quite a bit now. I hope it's not too shaky. Uh, here she comes. I tell you what, guys. A Filipino wife is the only way to go. I love her to death and I am blessed and uh, I, I consider myself the luckiest man on the planet. Uh, it is windy down here. I hope we're getting good sound quality. Uh, but here she comes. Don't lose your hat, love! Look at that. As I, I think as I said in one of my comments, uh, responding to a comment before, you know, you come here to the Philippines and you turn back the clock 75 years and you have what it was like in the United States. And uh, me being an old Oki myself, uh, I just love it here. Uh, this, this is life to me. Hi, hi. Are you going to make him turn, love? I think he's already, he's already done that part, boss lady. <laughs> you can't move. I tell you what, she is something else. She wants to make a video of her climbing a coconut tree uh, as a demonstration, and I've I've told her it's it's not going to happen because. She's done it all her life, but those coconut trees are 25, 30 feet high, and I'm just, I'm just too scared for her. Yay! There she is. So, can you, can you ask Love how many sacks of rice uh, they would expect to get out of this field? Noi, mga pilakay, nasagaran ni mo. It's a long video. Well, so ask, ask quickly. Mga pilakas ako ang mga harvest ane. Oh. Ah, okay. So 10 sacks of rice. And what is the sack of rice going for now, love? About 2,000 pesos per sack? The new harvest rice is 20 per kilo, 20 pesos per kilo, and then the one sack is like they it weighs only 32 kilos. So 32 kilos per sack. Times 20, so that's 640 kilos per sack, and he's thinking, how many sacks? Ten. Ten sacks. So that's 6,400 6, pesos 
uh, from this little field. And someone had asked me why I don't do rice in my fields. Uh, 6,400 6, pesos is about $125. So if you did this, uh, if the very best you could hope for is three harvests a year, so $300 a year profit uh, off a field this size, and I'm guessing this is about, oh, I don't know, a thousand square meters. Um, it's just, you know, God bless them. It's, uh, it's not what I would call a profitable venture. Uh, but it keeps rice on the table, I guess you could say. Anyway, uh, this is... Uh, it's like this, this is 20 meters by 20. So it's 400 square meters? Yeah. Okay, well my guess was wrong. It's 400 square meters and not a thousand. So anyway, this is a long video. I, I'm trying to keep our video short, so we're going to wrap this one up. There's Superwoman Marcel. Say goodbye, love. Bye, everyone. You guys have a good Thanks day. Thanks for watching. Thank you.